DeLuca from Insomnicat Media, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about Google Trends. Now, Google Trends actually lets you see how keywords have trended over time, and the URL, as you can see, is trends.google.com. It does geolocation, and if you want, you could actually select how search uh, is going in different countries over here and switch your location. But how does it actually work? So what it does is it looks at keywords over time. So for instance, if I type in Billy Irish, we could see how the search volume over time and interest of users over time has gone. Now this is from January of 2019 to December of 2019. But what's really cool is Google actually lets you look over it over the data over long periods of time. So if I look over the past five years, I could see how much interest there was in Billie Irish over time. And as we see, as her career has grown, we see more and more interest and more and more spikes, probably as even singles were released. Now, what's really cool about Google Trends also is it lets you compare various keywords. So if I put in 21 pilots, for instance, and I compare those over that five-year term, we see much bigger spikes here in 2015 and 2016. Probably when one of their albums was released, we see trailing off, and then we see some spikes here over time, which were probably some additional singles being released. And then once again, we see it trailing off again. So what's really cool about Google Trends is it lets you also compare multiple keywords to see how those things trend over time. Now, um, you know, obviously these are musical acts, but this could be applied to any business where what happens is you can look at certain search terms in your industry and look at how those things uh, change over time. So a lot of times with Google Trends, you can see seasonality even in search terms. You know, I'm going to use the example um, and maybe for swimming pools. People start looking for swimming pools, you know, in the end of winter, early part of spring because they want them installed for uh, summer. So, you know, if you're, if you're selling swimming pools, that makes a lot of sense to, you know, look at where those searches are being conducted or where the bulk of those searches are being conducted. Um, so that way you understand, you know, where you should create your content or what, how you're even, you know, the, the creation uh, period should look like for you to create things in order to uh, capitalize on some of that search volume. Once again, I hope you enjoyed uh, these tips on Google Trends, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone.